Hi sir, good morning. Yeah, good morning. May I know your good name? Swapna. Yeah, Swapna. Can I have your resume? Yes sir. Yeah, uh, Swapna, before starting the interview, quickly introduce yourself. Good morning sir, thank you for giving opportunity to introduce myself. Yeah, okay. I am Swapna, from Noetel, I am currently staying in, staying in Elpinagar. Okay. My graduation completed in BTEC, means we have a group of institutions in okay. Shereguda. Okay. I am married, I have two kids, I love my family. Yeah, okay, my so what is about your technical skills? Manual test. Yeah. So, fine. So, can I go with the basics of manual? Okay. So, what is the purpose of testing? To find the defect to development environment. Okay. To reduce failure in market. Okay. To produce quality product to customer. To save money, to save time. Yeah, okay. So, if I am not performing the testing, what will happen? Finally, finally result will be properly not properly, client will be disappointed, okay. business management will be lost, sales may get dropped, but this software testing is. Yeah, okay, yeah. fine. So, if we are <coughs> without testing, if we are release the software into market, there is a high chances for fail. Simply can say high chances for fail. fail. Okay, fine. And uh, what is the meaning of functional testing in your view? Validate the client requirements is known as functional testing. Functional testing was different types: smoke testing, retesting, regression testing, positive and negative, database testing, end-to-end testing, sample testing, exactive testing, adult pair body testing, monkey exploratory. Yeah, fine. So you are mentioned inside the functional testing. So that is nothing but a positive and negative testing. So what is the meaning of positive and negative testing? Positive testing means checking the application with valid inputs. Negative testing means checking the application with invalid inputs. Yeah, okay, fine. So, uh, okay, so what is main meaning of uh, retesting? After defect, find a defect developer, then checking the properly or not. Properly or not. So, defect sorry. is properly or not. Okay, repeat one second. After defect, after finding a defect, developer after finding the defect, tester will send to the developer. Yeah. Developer was going to fix the defect. After fixing the defect, we are going to check whether the defect is fixed properly or not. Properly okay. or not. So that is known as uh, retesting. Okay. So what you observe the difference between white box and black box testing? White box testing it is mostly done by software developers. Yeah, okay. Black box testing it mostly developed. It is mostly done by the software testers. Okay. White box system should perform, should be good knowledge, good programming code. Okay. Black box testing, no code, no knowledge of good programming. Okay, so if the testing done on logics and code, we can say white box testing. And after rest of the functionality and non functionality is known as black box test okay fine so what you observe the difference between test case and test scenario test scenario means what to test okay to the application we have right scenario okay we have sim single template yeah okay test case okay if how to test yeah okay it defines how to case how to test one scenario contains okay. multiple test cases Okay, so uh, can you give any test case example? Uh, don't ignore that. Okay, so simple test case you can say like uh, uh, validating the login with positive and negative, login. only positive and only negative. So this type of example you need to give. Okay, so okay, so you are finding uh, defects in your application, right? It is okay. So how you can say the test case is failed? Test case failed. Requirements, test steps, validation steps, outputs. If expectation is not reached to actual, okay. it's known as test case failure. If expectation is not reached to actual, expectation means client. Okay, client giving some expectation. Actual means 
reality yeah. exactly what we got okay okay fine and uh, uh, can you aware of the document name rcm yes, sir. R rcm stands for requirement uh. classification note it is a document okay which requirements not understanding tester okay. then checking then updates requirements okay. for using this document okay. furtherly client will conduct one meeting okay then clear the issue okay so when a tester was getting any confusion of the requirement then he will sorry okay Continue then he will in. update that requirement into this document okay fine and uh, what are the bug status available bug status no okay as an reject hold okay as per design okay. open okay. bug fix bug fix bug fixing test close reopen when we can see new to find the new defect status will update new yeah okay fine and uh, so okay fine uh, how many levels of testing is available in software testing Sorry, we have a four levels. Can you name them? System testing. Okay. Uh, when you are going to answer this question, so you need to go with the flow. Unit testing is the first level. Integration second level. System is third level. User acceptance is fourth. Level. Okay. So this way you need to go. Okay. So these are the four levels of test. Okay. And uh, okay. Finally, I need to ask one question. So what is the difference between inspection and walkthrough? Inspection. लाइक so when you are going to answer this question you need to make some confident answer okay so fine these two are coming under validation or verification no it's coming under verification it is process oriented okay yeah like uh, you need to go somewhat uh, in depth answers for this questions okay so and you have any idea about uh, automation like uh, still you are studying automation or still you are not as automation not Yeah, okay, it's fine. Uh, you have interested interested with automation as well. Yes. Sir. Yeah, okay. So in further, you need we are going to do the automation testing as well. Okay. So fine. Ah, uh, yes. Ah, uh, Swapna, right? Yes. Sir. Yeah. Ah, uh, Swapna. Like I think I done with my side. You have any queries to ask? No. Yeah. Okay. You may. Yes. Sir. Yeah. Okay. Fine. Ah, uh, 